watchfulness watchfulness is the greatest magic that one can learn and it is very important that you are watchful of everything that you do every each one of your action none of your actions should be mechanical or robot it is very important along the spiritual path we have to remember that everyone can be your master you can learn once you are a disciple you have developed the capacity to learn one of the hindu mystics after he became enlightened he accepted 24 masters and he said his body is the 25th master because it teaches him many things in the beginning when you are a student in a primary school you are in a different situation you are learning what you are taught but as your learning capacity increases or as we say in spiritual terminology you become a disciple means one who has learned the capacity to discern then anything that you see you can learn something from it this happened with dattatreya after his mother had told him that son try to learn from everyone every situation and everything that you encounter in life after he became enlightened he was going on a pilgrimage he saw a bird catcher he spread his nest trying to catch the birds same time a marriage procession passed so dattatreya inquired from the bird catcher what is this procession about the bird catcher looked at him in utter dismay and astonishment and he said which procession are you talking about he said the procession just passed the bird catcher said i did not notice anything because i was focused on bird catching this is a simple incident in your so called sanity you will say what kind of a stupid man he is but a man who has developed the faculty to discern he bowed down to the person and he said you are my master i learn from you the way of concentration amidst all the disturbance amidst the noise of the world you are focused on what you are doing this is a great quality that i learn from you like that he accepted 24 masters he was going and he saw a woman dressed up sitting in the corridor waiting for her lover whole night she waited but the lover did not come he asked her what happened he said maybe he did not come today he would have got caught up in something or the other tomorrow he will come he vowed down to her and he said i learned from you patience and like that from everyone he learned one or the other thing this is the way of the disciple when you look into let us look at a spiritual university anything there are whatever is your field you will find there are experts in that field if you are interested in spirituality you will find there are people who have attained excellence in that if your interest is painting you will come across painters the master painters who have attained excellence in that field in the same way If you are interested in cooking you will find master chefs who have attained excellence in their field and each one of you can teach you something if you are open and ready to learn the quality of learning is born in the process 
once you have developed the capacity to learn you can learn from anyone and it does not matter that you cannot learn from this person and there is a great misconception this person is my master so no one else can be my master we consider master or sheikh the teacher as a physical person this is not the situation only with the disciples or the with the masters as well that this person is my disciple why he should go to someone else we have to remember that master is a state of awareness even the masters remain in that state of ignorance a master is a state of awareness in sufi terminology we call it a ruhani miraj miraj means a state ruhani means a spiritual state of awareness awareness is comes first when it descends through your mental faculties it becomes your understanding and when understanding descends it becomes your action thought process in it first is awareness or awakening once that awakening comes to you or to anyone that person becomes a master irrespective of his physical appearances so buddha emphasized on watchfulness you remember each person when he attains to awakening or the masterhood then he chooses a plane from where he operates a person in the field medical science he attains his mbbs degree then he goes into a specialization and becomes an expert in a particular discipline but he is also trained as a doctor a medical professional maybe you are in internal medicine he is in cardiovascular section but both are experts in their field and they are connected to one another through a patient a patient may come who may require the assistance of the two disciplines this is the situation of each one of the seeker it is like the university of spirituality where there are professors trained they have necessary qualification and because of that necessary qualification they have entered in the university as professors maybe they may not belong to your discipline but they deserve respect and you can learn from them as well buddha is the one who emphasizes on watchfulness watchfulness is the greatest magic that one can learn because it can begin the transformation of your whole being it is through watchfulness that resurrection happens and you are reborn the phenomena of dreaming and watchfulness are totally different how does watchfulness begin just try one thing every night going to sleep while you are just awake you are on the borderline you are neither fully awake nor asleep you are half awake half asleep slowly and slowly going into sleep repeat to yourself i will be able to remember that it is a dream whatever happens go on repeating it till you fall asleep it will take a few days but one day you will be surprised once this idea sinks deep into the unconscious you can watch the dream as a dream and even in the dream you will be awake then it has no grip over you then slowly as your watchfulness becomes more sharp dreams will disappear they are very shy they do not want to be watched this is the state of dreams they exist only in the darkness of unconsciousness as watchfulness 
Watchfulness means light and as light comes in, they start disappear. Just as the light comes in, all the darkness around you begins to disappear. A state of dream is a darkness that exists only in a state of unconsciousness. As watchfulness brings light in, they start disappearing. So go on doing the same exercise and one day you will get rid of dreams and you will be surprised. Getting rid of dreams has many implications. If the dreams disappear, then in the daytime your mind chattering will not be so much as it used to be. You will be more in the moment because whenever a moment comes, a circumstance and situation comes, the mind begins to chatter, the whole process begins and you miss the crux of the moment that is there in front of you. You eat food and you do not know what you have eaten, you have not tasted anything. The, if the dreams disappear, then in the daytime your mind chattering will not be so much as used to be. Secondly, you will be more available in the moment. You will not be in the future, not in the past. Thirdly, your intensity, your totality of action will increase. A state of dreaming will reduce. It is needed because man is sick. But if dreams can be completely dropped, you will attain a kind of health, a new vision and part of your unconscious mind will become conscious. So you will have a stronger individuality. Whatever you do, you ne will never repent. Whereas in ordinary situation, you say something, you do something and then you repent and this process continues, this process continues. Whatever you do you will never repent because you will have done it with such consciousness that repetition has no relevance. This is the way or the technique through which you develop more and more aware, more and more watchful. The more watchful you are, the dark moments will not, inf will not filter in your life because these dark moments of disappointments, they always enter through the back door when you are unconscious. When you are totally conscious, you are watchful. All these cannot find an opportunity to enter. Watchfulness is the greatest, that is why it is called watchfulness. It's like that at the gate, all around you have a stringent security. No unwanted person can enter your building. Ordinary people do not have that kind of security. But as an individual aspiring along the spiritual path, you have to watch every single word that comes to you. You have to be very watchful. If you are walking on the road, you have to be watchful. If you are driving, you have to be watchful of the poles, of all the hazards that lie ahead along the way. Someone says something to you and you are not watchful. You say things which you have not never meant to say. For all these things, you have to learn to practice watchfulness. You can begin with when you are going to sleep, lie down on the bed and repeat this, I will be awake. Then a day comes, even when you are turning your sights in the night, you know that I am turning the sight. There is something awake within you. Although the surface mind, the body is put to rest, body is resting, but there is 
a light of awareness that continuously blinking like the night lamp that watches everything. And this is one of the criteria that one should attain through meditation. And the moment one attains to this state of watchfulness, you are to do the zikr, but as you sit down in doing the zikr, you will find the body scratching here, there, all kind of restlessness coming onto the surface, many thoughts coming to the surface and you are not able to focus on what is being said. Oh, you are doing the zikr or repetition of a particular word as mantra, your mind goes out again and again because there is no watchfulness, there is no security guard. Watchfulness is the security guard for the seekers along and it is one of the very important things that one needs to learn.